Poor Lawrence. How do you think? You are fear, uh, fearful of the cover-ups, that the truth will never be known. He says, don't you fear. The truth will out. Everything hidden will be revealed. You almost ready? Yeah. Say yes, not yeah. Don't fear. And what I whispered in darkness, you say in the light. And you shout it. And when the gospel is There was a man who was born in the... There we go. Aren't you eating? I had a banana. His name was Hugh Latimer. You look awful, Kate. Why don't you eat anymore? Mom, I eat plenty, believe me. Kate Wilson, you think I don't notice you trying to stay so thin? Getting your hair done? Running off with that Reba woman every other weekend? You shouldn't be wasting your money on such things. So I shouldn't care about my appearance. Well, I guess you think you're going to get another husband and leave. Well, it won't work, not at your age. Kate? Marriage has a dark side to it. I expect you give up on it after what you've been through. I have, Mom. Be careful what you say. She's going to catch you sooner or later. She won't catch me. Yeah, well, anything to see you get out of that house. Thanks, Reba. No problem. Hang in there with me now. Hey! Reba, I got to go. The lights just went out. Yeah, bye. Kate! I'm right here, Mother! The electric's gone off. No kidding. I heard a pop in the basement that darn old fuse box again. Oh, are you sure? Well, all the other neighbors' lights are on. Mom, it's so late. Can't it just wait till morning? And have all the food in the freezer spoil? I can't sleep unless I have some light. Besides, somebody will see that the house is dark, and they'll try to break in. Come on. Come on, Kay. You don't like to go down there, Kate. I'd do it myself if I could climb the stairs. It's going to bite you, for heaven's sake. I'm right here.
Vine County Board of Supervisors wrestled for the third day straight over details of the proposed bond issue that would earmark funds for infrastructure repair. Can't you find something interesting? I gotta get to work. Just a little more. Santa Rosa police announced today that similarities in a number of attacks on area women over the last six months may indicate that a serial rapist is responsible for the crimes. A police spokesperson declined to give details at this time. besides they were getting close on another property with Newhall. Well, I did a little detective work and found out that the adjacent property owners were about an inch from filing Chapter 11. I caught them, I swear, a minute before signing. I pulled the rug right out from under Newhall, got them a fantastic bargain in the exact location they wanted. Client says to me, from now on, we don't put anything on the market without you. Pretty impressive, Helene. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Finally. I was about to go into a coma. Yeah, well, we're all about to be asphyxiated from your cigarette smoke. We're a little late this morning, aren't we? Sorry. Oh, Kate. Be an angel and put this in the mail for me. And Kate? Fax us over to City National. Listen, okay. let's get down to business here. We have got to talk about those properties down in Stewart. Oh, oh. sorry, Mr. Oh. Moore. Poor old Kate. They're really piling it on you, aren't they? No. <laughs> yes, sir. Have you talked your mother into selling that haunted house of hers yet? Well, I, I've been waiting for the right timing to talk to her again. That's wise, Kate, because the time is now. You've got commercial zoning out there. That place is worth a fortune. I know. I, I was wondering if, if there are any comps. Oh, sure. Uh, see Mary. She'll fix you right up. And you tell Mrs. Wilson we'll do right by her when she decides to sell. <laughs> I will. I won't. I promise my father I'd keep this house in the family always. But it's not the same house. It's depressing, for God's sake. Look what the properties around here are selling for with the zoning change. This place is worth a lot of money. It is not my fault that your father left us nothing. And that your husband, he never had a dime. And now you expect me to sell my house? This is my house, too, Mother. I pay the insurance. I pay the taxes. I've paid all the expenses here for years. Well, I haven't charged you rent, have I? Mom. I don't mind supporting you, but I don't make much money. It's crazy to live like this. Money changes people, Kate. I'm afraid you'll run off somewhere. And where would I be? Alone, with no home. I would never leave you alone, never. You know that. Won't you at least consider meeting with Mr. Warnicky and discussing the idea? Oh, I don't know. I suppose if it's going to make you happy. Thanks, Mom. Mom, I'm going now. I think I'm coming down with something. I always do right before I go. Are you sassing me? No, Mother. Well, I don't see why you had to stay the whole night at Reba's. How will you be ready for work in the morning? I'll be home early enough. Your dinner is in the fridge. Reba's number is by the phone in case you need me. Of course, you do have a life of your own. I've always said <clears throat> you should get out more. Oh, I spoke with Mr. Warnicky. He thought we could get together Friday to discuss the house. Does that suit you? I suppose. Great. Now, you get some rest. Mm -hmm.
What am I gonna? I, I have to go home. Do you have a, a spare tire? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm well, help you with it. No, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna ruin your clothes. Everybody okay? Uh, yeah. My car's not doing so well, though. So I see. Look at this. Kind of a tricky spot, too, huh? Yeah. Ooh, front left. That's the worst. You're lucky. Think I can change it here? I'll just chalk the back wheels. Okay. Uh. Hi. I know you. Yeah, from the Red Oak Inn. You're a regular there, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, you don't even have to stick around if you don't want to. You can go ahead. Well, if you're sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. And I'm really sorry oh, again. It's, it's okay. Bye. Bye bye. your key and your path to the spa. out of the way home so I can stop up and get it fixed. Yeah, I know. Um, I would, but I'm going out of town tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to LA for a couple of days for some interviews. Um, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna fly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna be back on Thursday night, so let's get together then, okay? All right, bye. your tire and you invited me over, right? <laughs> right. Now you just relax <laughs> and enjoy the ride and you're not going to get hurt. I can't do this. I can't! <laughs> Take your clothes off. Uh, Take them off. I am, I am. Uh, uh,
Get out. Get out. Nagled any deals lately? Well, I did move an office building in Santa Rosa last week. Oh? At first, the client passed on it, said it was too small. They were about to close on another property with Newhall. I caught the client a minute from signing. Pulled the damn rug out from under Newhall, got the client a fantastic bargain. Hey, I heard about that deal. The client was CNA, right? That's Lakeside. You're with Lakeside, right? Excuse me. Would you like to dance? Excuse me.
being funny. I just just been out with Tom for a while. Did you drink again tonight? We Gary? had a couple beers. Oh, well, you should have called me. It's late. Just get off my back. Just go into bed. I'll be in the bed. I know you. Yeah, from the Red Oak Inn. You're a regular there, right? sort of disappointed when I showed up. What took you so long? <laughs> That's the way you like it, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> isn't it about time I found out something about you? Yeah. All I know is that your name's Catherine Barton. I'm not one of your clients. But we've been seeing each other for a long time. Still, everything's a big secret here. Mm -hmm. Are you married? It's okay if you are. I told you, I'm widowed. Well, that doesn't really explain. There's, there's nothing to explain. to get to work. Where do you work anyway? How come you never close the bathroom door? Beautiful morning around the North Bay. Visibilities are just great. We had the rain the other day. That cleared out the atmosphere and the windy conditions that we're having. As a matter of fact, wind speeds along the coast already 20 to 30 knots. They have wind advisories up in the Sierra Nevada mountains where they have wind speeds up to 50 miles an hour as another Pacific system gets ready to come into our district. Now, we have about 24 hours of nice weather. We'll see the clouds start to move in. You can already see some of the clouds coming in. Clouds will move in. Sure you won't stay for breakfast? I'll be late. Okay. When will you call me? Probably next week. Bye, Kate. 
Wilson. Feeling okay? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah? I didn't sleep all night. Oh, why is that? That wind was terrible. Yeah. And my stockings, they were itching something awful. Well, let's take a look. I called Reba earlier. I know. She said you were out at the store. Yes, I was picking up a few things. She didn't say you were out at the store. She said you were in the shower. What? What are you trying to hide from me, Kate? Don't be ridiculous. I did go to the store, and I took a shower, too. Well, guess I'm just imagining things. You just worry too much, Mom. Gary, where you been all night? I was worried sick. Nowhere. I can make you breakfast, but you'd be late. Hey, I want you to call work and tell them I'm sick. What's wrong, honey? Please, just call them, Cindy. I can't go in today, because I got the flu. Father's going to know you out drinking again, even if I tell him you have Just to. do it! Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, we hey. were worried about you. Oh, it's OK, honey. I was just working late, that's oh. all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I had a terrible day at work. Yeah, what happened? Director hair in different ways. Is your mom listening? No, she's asleep. Kind of early, isn't it? She was up all night. Yeah, how come? Because I wasn't here, of course. It figures. I tell you, she must have called me ten times. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Since you've been slipping out, she has been getting crazier. She's not crazy. She's she's just old and lonely. She needs me. And you need her. Kate, she is sitting on a gold mine with that house. Reba, I'm not like that. Yeah, well, you should be. luck, she'll kick the bucket pretty soon. Reba, you're talking about my mother. Someone's at the door. I better go. Yeah, okay. Come over for real sometime, will you? Yeah, why? So then you're ready. Yeah. So that now what You must be Mrs. Wilson. Pleased to meet you. Um, Mr. Stearns is, is picking up some papers for work. Well, maybe Mrs. Stearns would like to stay for some soup. Well, I'm sure he would, but he, he has to get back to work. No. No, I'd love to stay. Stop it! Oh, what? What? What's the big deal? Why don't we just tell her? Oh, don't you tell her a thing. I mean it. God is great, God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By his hand, we all are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Amen. So, you work with my daughter. Sometimes. Well, then you must have an interest in my property. It's quite valuable. But, of course, you must know that. Well, actually, I deal more with the legal side of things. But you are interested. You certainly couldn't be just interested in Kate. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Well, in the past, Mrs. Stearns, Kate and I both have shown particularly poor judgment in our choices of men. Oh, I'm sure you could have had your pick. My up. husband was a coward. Kate's husband was a good-for-nothing moocher. He ran off without even taking his dirty laundry. What's your point, Mrs. Wilson? My point is, Mrs. Stearns, looking at you, I see very little chance of Kate improving her track record. This really isn't necessary. I'm not trying to steal her away from you. Kate and I are just friends. You're not a good liar, Mr. Stearns. My mother takes pride in being rude. Are you interested in having a family? <clears throat> I have two children by my previous marriage, but I do hope to have more. Well, Kate's too old for that. You too, probably. I think you've been living alone too long in this museum, Mrs. Wilson. You're losing touch with reality. Kate, go get some more bread. There's bread here. Kate! I used to have another child, Lawrence, Kate's younger brother. Oh? Lawrence died when he was just a baby. One day when Kate was taking care of him. What are you saying? I just thought you should know that my baby is dead and Kate was taking Will care of him. Will you stop? Good night. Thanks for the soup. <clears throat> She's impossible sometimes. Don't worry about it. I'll give you a call. Sure. Why are you acting like this? Like what? Come on, I'm not stupid. 
You think I'm weird. Why didn't you just say so? No, no, no. I don't think you're weird. Your mother, maybe. You have a lot of nerve coming here uninvited and then slithering oh, off hey, like... hey, I like... don't need this. So, that's it. That's what? I'm not the one that's ashamed to use my own I'm name, for God's sake. Well, what then? Are you afraid? Are you nuts? What the hell is wrong with you? want you seeing that man again. He is just using you. You don't know a damn thing about him. You've always been too stupid to see people for what they really are. You make a fool of yourself. <laughs> You're right about that. Okay? What do you think you were doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kate. Please, don't leave me here alone. You are alone, Mother. We're both alone. Where are you going? I'm going out! You'll be sorry, Kate. I'll make you sorry! Seat taken. No. Good deal. Would oh, you have another match? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. You got one of those for me? Take the whole pack. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. There it is. Allow me. Thank you for the chair. Hey, how you doing? Fine. You don't remember me, do you? Excuse me. I don't believe that guy. Oh, you're the good Samaritan. Right. Yep. Well, so are you. <laughs> so you get the tire fixed and all? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all in day's work. Good. So is she working tonight? No, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I wish it had been you that had the flight. I'm, I'm Gary. Oh, Catherine. Pleased to meet you. Oh, pleasure's mine. Do you have a last name? Barton. You? Smith. Mind if I ask you a personal question? Well, it depends, I guess. What are you doing here alone? I mean, you probably have a boyfriend and, God forbid, a husband. Actually, I'm widowed. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Maybe I'm not sorry. Like, I don't mean to come on to you. Like, you know. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> 
Hey, maybe you'd like to dance. Maybe I would. Looking happier with somebody new And she's holding you like I used to do What's the matter, baby? Ain't I good enough for you? And it hurts my pride Yeah, I like this place. It's my getaway. What? It's work and all. Yeah. What do you do? Nothing interesting. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. I work in the real estate business. Really? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you little alone? Yeah, me too. No daughter or nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where? Santa Rosa. House? Apartment? Yeah. <laughs> Which? Breathe on this. Oh. Hey, like a charm. <laughs> hey, two more. The usual, Fred. You got it. Oh, hey. Now don't tell me. It's uh, Catherine, right? Catherine Barton. Yeah, hi. How are things at Lakeside? Oh, fine. Oh, well, uh, see you later. Brothers and sisters. Got any? Oh. <laughs> no, um, just me. You? Yeah. How about your folks? Well, my father's in the Navy. He's a captain. Wow. Your mom? Would you excuse me a minute? Yeah, all right, sure. Say we go for a ride up the coast. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I have to get home tonight. Come on. Just a short ride. I really have something I have to take care of. <laughs> Didn't the other guy paid our bill? <laughs> You. Yeah, look, I know, I know. Let's, let's just make a date right now. We'll meet here tomorrow night. Hmm. When tomorrow night? I can't. Uh, uh, next week, Tuesday. Tuesday. Seven. 
Yeah, all right. I'm over there. Yeah, yeah I'm over there. Mom? Mom? Oh, God. Oh, Mom.
She forgets how many she's taken. And... I don't think this was just a mistake, Miss Wilson. Did she ever do this before? Oh. Uh, not like this. She, uh, she's not really trying to kill herself. She just... She gets very upset. Like, if... If we have a fight. And I, I, I really think she, she's just trying to get attention. <laughs> well, at her age, it's a very risky way of getting attention. Now, the dose your mother took was dangerous, but not lethal. The fact that she didn't take all the pills in the bottle indicates she wasn't 100% determined. Therefore, I'm going to forego holding her for the usual 72 hours. You can take her home in the morning. But no more chlorinol. Woman her age has no business taking this stuff anyway. Hi. Her room's right there. You know, your mother should really consider psychiatric counseling. Dr. Hudson is very good with elderly patients. Um, you might want to go along, too. Gave me quite a scare. I'm sorry, Kay. I got so worried. I'm sorry, Mom. You shouldn't have left like that. I just get so afraid. I, I didn't mean to. Take you to the hospital. I think Mommy. he needs stitches, honey. I really do. I'm now, serious. tomorrow. Mommy. Okay. Don't come in here, sweetheart. Daddy, sit right now. Mommy. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Council unanimously passed a resolution Tuesday night deleting two proposed rubble fill sites from the county's solid waste management plan. The county find something interesting. A Santa Rosa woman was found dead in her apartment early yesterday after her landlord reportedly discovered her body. Betty Carlson of 12036 Vista Bonita Drive was pronounced dead on the scene by Santa Rosa City Police, who reported that the woman is believed to have been murdered. Authorities are seeking witnesses who may have seen the victim after she left. Red Oak Inn and Hilts. All right, we know he fixed her flat. He was driving a truck. And what'd you say his name was? His name was Gary Smith. And you're certain you don't remember the make or license number of the truck? No, uh, it was blue. He, he couldn't have done anything like that. He was a very nice man. You said she was seen at a gas station after dark, so it couldn't be him. Well, it's not that we don't believe you, Miss Wilson. It's just that we have to check every detail. And then what happened? Nothing. I, I saw he was fixing the tires, so I left. And that was the last time you saw him? Uh, yeah. 
And where'd you go after that? I went to the Red Oak Inn. Well, you uh, stayed there? You had dinner? What? Uh, I stayed there. So you would have been registered under Kate Wilson? Mm -hmm. I guess that's, uh, that's all we need for now. Thanks for coming in, Kate. Uh, we may need to get in touch with you, so... Uh, oh, oh, just... it would be better uh, if you didn't call me at home. My mother isn't well, and she would be very upset if she knew I was at the right Oh, God. I see. Well, all right. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. What a nutcase. Where are you? Are you all right? Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, honey, I'm fine. Are you going to be home for dinner? I'm making meatloaf. Has anybody called for me? Has anybody been looking for me? Like who? Like the police. Has the police called for me? No. Gary, what is it? Gary? Gary, are you there, Gary? Well, I work in the real estate business. So, uh, how are things at Lakeside? Gary? Yeah, I, um, honey, listen, yeah, I, I, I had some trouble, but, uh, everything's gonna be all right. Look, I, I, I gotta go now, so... Gary, wait. I love you. Yeah, I, I love you, too. I'm gonna be home later, so don't worry, all right? Excuse me, excuse me, where's Kate? I do not have time for all this mindless paper pushing. I told you she called in. Some sort of family emergency? Well, damn it, can we just get somebody in here who shows up once in a while? Ooh, irritable, aren't we? Mail these out. Go to hell. Do not talk back to me. Do you understand? I... Hi. May I help you? Yes, is uh, Catherine Barton there? Uh, I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. Well, this is Lakeside. Mm -hmm. Catherine's a broker. She just made a big sale to CNA, pulled the rug out from under New Hall. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> that was my deal. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I don't... Oh, Catherine. There you are. And this gopher has been taking credit for my deals. Meanwhile, I've got a potential client out there who doesn't know what the hell is going on with this company. That's enough, Helene. Is this true, Kate? Kate? I said some things that I guess were misconstrued. It was only once it was wrong. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean any harm. Is that satisfactory, Helene? Well, if you don't mind a pathological liar running around misrepresenting Lakeside, then fine. However, I will not put up with being mistaken for you. <gasps> Kate! There's 
no cause for alarm, Mrs. Wilson. Your daughter saw the victim earlier on the evening of the crime and just uh, came in and reported it as a good citizen. Uh, may we come in? Uh, we'll just be a few minutes. The, uh, the victim was an employee of the Red Oak Inn over in Heels. We made some inquiries at the Red Oak. It seems uh, your daughter's somewhat of a regular. And apparently when she's there, she uses an alias, Catherine Barton. Barton? Does that name mean something? It just seems strange. Do you have any idea why she'd be using a false name? <laughs> no. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much, Mrs. Wilson. Uh, Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Was it's your just daughter acquainted with Betty Carlson, Mrs. Wilson? I never heard of her. Well, could you tell us anything about her relationship with Richard Stearns? Relationship? She spent the night of the murder with him at the Red Oak Inn and on other occasions over the last several months. I mean, surely you must have some idea what I kind... I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know about. anything about your daughter's activities at the Red Oak Inn? No. I'm sorry, uh... We didn't mean to upset you, Mrs. Wilson. Uh, perhaps we'd better get going. You didn't have to jump down her throat. Hey, excuse me. We're investigating a murder here. See, that's just not the father or mother. What do we do? All right, Sullivan. We have absolutely no leads on this thing, and you're worried about hurting somebody's feelings. Let's go check out this lakeside real estate. give you my right name. It's Grafton. Gary Grafton. <sighs> Don't 
tell me what happened. She invited me over. You know, waitresses are. And suddenly she put up a fight and she started kicking and screaming. I just wanted her to be quiet. And she banged her head. It was an accident. Uh, I believe you. I think the police will too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't believe me. Uh, uh, you know my name. Uh, uh, Tell me uh, how you know my name. Oh, Police don't know anything, do they? Do you think I'm gonna ruin my life? My God, I'm hardly sorry for having a well, loser like you. And I detest all my sins not because of worth just punishment, but most of all because of offending my God who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly Quit looking at me!
down here. You call yourself Barton. You steal my wedding ring. And what were you doing with all of this? You answer me. You can just forget about selling the house, and there'll be no more of those weekends with that Reba woman. What on earth? What happened? What happened, Kate? Kate? Kate! Mommy's going into Brooksville shopping. You have to stay and watch your brother, all right? Yeah. Say yes, not yeah. Here's my baby. Come on, Kate. You're a big girl now and you won't cry, will you? No. And you won't tell Daddy I went shopping and left you here, Helen. No, I Thank you. 
Call my wife. She's gonna come pick me up. Just take it easy, buddy. She'll come pick me up. Yeah, I gotta go to work. She's going to the hospital. Tomorrow morning. What's the word on Wilson? Uh, she's pretty banged up. The doctor says she's in shock. We won't be able to talk to her again until tomorrow night. It's one weird thing, though. It seems when she got to the hospital, she was asking for Barton Wilson. Barton? That's her alias. Yeah, it also happens to be her father's name. So? So, Barton Wilson's been dead for about 20 years. Suicide. through with this? I'll call you once I find an apartment. You don't know anyone in the city. Don't worry. Please, Kate, what, what, what am I going to do with myself here all alone? I mean, who will I talk to? You have your friends at church. Well, what if I get sick? You pick up the phone and call the doctor. Oh, I, I, just, I just don't see how. Oh, you how? Surprise if I change my will! 